Let's head to... this situation. Because I want to make some sales. And this, uh, there's some credits available here. So. Digipicks themselves are actually valuable, so don't worry too much about that, but yeah. Install some stuff here. Let's go to Neon. This whole planet is ocean. Look at that. Literally the only spot you can go is neon. There's nothing else. It's it's ocean, 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 and neon. Crazy. this place livable is astounding. There's no end what can be accomplished when they're all credits to be made. A couple things I wanted to look at. Does she have any supplies Here, on her? I have something for you. You do? Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it, or find it useful, or, well, whatever. Oh, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. No, oh, she's so sweet. 500 credits? Yes, you need me. What have you got for me? Okay, so she's got heavy particle fuses. There's ammo. Until next time. Greetings, Captain. You know, it's funny. I was going to trade her out for Sarah, but then she gave me that gift. So, you know what? You know what? She can stick around. services. Ought to be a kiosk around here somewhere. Yep.
Ooh. A particle beam pistol. That seems like that could be fun. For now, I'm interested in just selling survey data, so... Comes back as a nice fat stack of cash, so... I have 75,000 credits, very nice. Be paying off the mortgage on that house soon enough, chat. I don't know if that's the best idea, but hand it off. Yeah, you better believe it. Free and clear. Man, smell that? Construction. Incense. Just paying 500 a week. Chemicals <laughs> yeah. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. And the thing is, you never have to pay it, so it's like. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Yeah, I know how it works. It's like you, if you don't pay it, they just lock you out until you pay. Yeah. Which is funny because, like, I'm, I'm never going to use that house, you know? Not really much of a point. Reunion Industries is looking for the young, bright mind. How many work experience do I have working as a secretary or a corporate environment? I'm a businessman. I have a lot of experience. Uh, how familiar am I with Reunion Industries and its product lines? Very. What is my proficiency with computers? Uh, very high, and I have a master's degree. No criminal activity. Means of the future. Apply to the nearest... uh, Not building a super ship. Sure. <laughs> well, I, I want a big ship because I want to actually have crew on board. I don't want it to just be me. Ship is tiny, still have five crew. Mr. Stroud, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. We're going to negotiate a business deal here. So lucky. Yeah. Walter. Walter. Isa. Put, put your dick, dick away, Walter. Time. The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Hello. Isa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Charmed. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> You should hear him reciting this. Could make you cheaper ships. Well, I got my maxed out commerce skills, so I don't think you're getting a better deal than me on oh, those my ships, heart Chief. Gives a beat when he does it. Really, it does. I mean, I do have like I I, I probably should rebuild my ship way, again, but I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I'm 100% behind uh, 
Embarrassing Walter. I know. It's my favorite hobby. <laughs> now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Mm. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Probably. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. True. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I I'm okay if she's in. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorization. Why, they're married? <laughs> James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. I think they're married. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Okay, okay. A thousand cr that's it? Yo, I need like a hundred thousand. Dude, look at this office that you have, Chief. Mm. That's fucked up. That was a crud. It's like that's gonna get me anywhere. Psh. Jesus. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. What's up? Ah, hello. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Honestly, I don't know. It was beautiful, though. And it seems fitting that you were the one to discover it. Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? Magic pixies. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's people out there we've never met. I'm sure we'll find out if we keep you going. You sound just like Sarah. I see why she invited you to join Constellation. You are right, of course. We will learn in time. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? You think there'll be side How effects? How can any of us know what will happen? This is the definition of unprecedented, is it not? True, true. Um, I feel great. I feel a pretty good. A single person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. I feel pretty good. But for now, what about chat? Chat, are you guys feeling good? S fortunate. Six two chat. The artifacts <laughs> that temple this. Yo, well, Starfield's good. I'm loving ability it. Ability you have acquired. Clearly, they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. Yes, you are right. And if we continue to work together, perhaps we can start to explain some of this. True. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here. 
True, true. Oh, we in the club, Jan. Yeah, let's go. It's, 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 it's. Hey. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan. You knew best. One for our stream on the final mile internet outage. Here for a drink or listen to the music. I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Uh, Aurora? Is it illegal? Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. Is that and right? once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Really? Uh, chat, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we should get into drugs, chat. Um, I, I, I prefer a good old-fashioned oh, drink. We have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city. Okay, new we're clearly being pre fucking peer pressure here, Chief. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have a meeting. I'm at work right now. Maybe, maybe later. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. That's good. Say I needed security to be on my side. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Hmm, 4,000 credits? That's a little steep. I I have a 1,000 in operating costs. That's all I've got. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Surely a business already has VIP. Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. Look, you lower the fee, I got you I'm covered. I'm sorry, but promises make for poor currency. All right, listen. I don't have time for this. The way I see it, you need what I'm offering more than I need what you're paying. No, I, I'll take I'm care of it myself. I'm can't budge on the price. The VIP package isn't for everyone. I don't care. It ain't worth 4000 Not interested. Of course. Completely at your discretion. Your prices are fucking ridiculous, dude. I'm not shopping with you again on that. Excellent you have penthouses? Choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge. Yeah, how much are your penthouses? If your VIP bag is just 4,000, you're probably charging a fucking million for a penthouse. 235? What, course, what am I getting for my the money? Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Is that right? While your enthusiasm for the property is appreciated, now take you out a loan. Be short on the credits required to purchase it. Is that right? Of course. A few credits and the security of the Astral Lounge will be on hand if anything goes wrong. It's fucking ridiculous. No, I'm hope to see you again. I'm not spending four thousand on the fucking care package, Chief. So let's take a look here. You don't need to wear your helmet. 
<laughs> nice. All right, let's uh, take a gander at the security myself. Um. This room has been booked by Redacted. Boone Morgan? I never had the patience for computer systems. Well, we can override the door once. Good to know. security on our side, but we do have Andrea, and she's pretty fucking pog, so... Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Is that right? Wonderstone's owning a business, I understand exactly. That. But when you're dealing with a snake like Sieghart... Normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Is that right? How do you keep, uh, what kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot about? of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Okay, so like a... Like a college. How do you keep your place up to safe? the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Hmm. Keeping his place yeah, sounds sure. smart, though. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Oh, there's corruption in the anyway, security force? Sorry. Hmm. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Okay. Um, are they all corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. That's fair. Um, got a meeting going on with Maybe Walter? I Maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. No, but you're talking to a known associate of Walter, so. New intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. I know the seller came Easy through friend. you. I know that. Not looking for trouble. So stop trying to waste my time. Rather be paid now. Eh, done talking. 
Not getting more from me about this any of this. fucking guy. Yes, let's. Dude, I'm not extorting out of people, dude. Come on, man. You like making a purchase today? Best deals. All right. In well, if I'm not buying information, maybe I can buy something actually worth my time here. Sure. Okay, yeah, that'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Uh, a thank you might be nice. Actually, no, no, I'm not doing I'm this for free. Man. You help me with this, and I have no problem compensating you for your yeah, time. Yeah, no, I'm a fucking businessman. You're a fucking waste of my time. How about that? You can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even This did. fucking guy, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fucking deal hey there. with this guy. Welcome to Newell's. Maybe I did. Had a freelancer trail fucking the seller back asshole. to his place. Sleep crate one. Hey there, friend. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. any of these uh, oh it fits this one hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered well we're gonna find out trying to smuggle goods which is presumably the artifact can you believe see Let's talk to Walter and figure out what our next course of action is. We're not going to have security, but that's all right. Is everything ready? Excellent. 
Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. All right, here we go. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Okay. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate <laughs> smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers. We'll back you got it. I gotta piss before we get started. I think that last drink was stronger than I thought. That's what you said two drinks ago. Maybe you should slow down. Yeah, probably. Hell yeah! Security it's briefcase, awesome. huh? It is. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Fair. What do Honestly, you like to do with your I, free time? I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has it's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose hmm. that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot. And Yo, that dude in the background is fucking getting it, dude. Look, he's like, mm, 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 I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. I hope that was informative. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. You try Aurora yet? You won't regret it. It's party time. Get zoomed and have fun. Here, I got a better one for you. I got a better one for you.
Look, they're cheering for me, chat. Crazy. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Don't mind me, chat. Just, uh, you know, having a good old time, dog. Get some more <laughs> vegetables. The seller is wearing a Slayton Aerospace Service pin. Until next time. Hmm. Gotta find the seller. crew what's it cost i think you'll agree my rate is fair 14 ah, energy weapons specialist i don't think Why i should that? pay you that much mm, don't think i'm desperate or anything but you do have a point better fucking better than believe being unemployed, it i suppose well then, goodbye. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? It's worth exactly zero credits. Same as my career. So don't get any ideas. I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Alright, we're going VIP. I just saw our seller walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. What if things get messy? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Well, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. That's fair. That's fair. I'll make sure that your reputation is not soured as long as it doesn't need to be. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. 
So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Yeah, I'll have a seat. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? We know you need to sell quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That ain't our problem. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. And what, not sell the artifact? I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. Instead of you all wasting my While time. lugging an artifact around? I don't think You're so. You're on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... Do the smart thing. Take all the right. money. You win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well, that's all we had to do. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Yeah, this is my kind of mission right here. Sh fucking cutting deals and shit. Oh, shit. You're doing Constellation, bro. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Don't die just for a rock. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Oh my god. I'm getting really tired of all the scumbags oh, in the hey city. <laughs> there we go. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. I'm <laughs> getting Being tired of all the scumbags. Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get off the planet quickly. Yeah, let's get the hell I out of here. I heard there's shortages over at Rely Medical. Let's get the hell out of here. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the police shuts down. Ace. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. What? Impounded? There goes our way out. How'd they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Yeah, I had to spend a lot of money just to get this fucking meeting. Um, we need to get Slayton Reed. off of our backs. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Yeah. Seems to be the reasonable path.
Looks like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere. Why are you in... Why, why do you have a skull makeup thing on? Jesus. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I need to make an appointment to see Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I have an exciting business opportunity to discuss with Mr. Slayton. I'm sure you do. Need to take up much of his time. We've just had arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. I wouldn't be here that if he sound hadn't like Slayton impounded, Slayton impounded the legal authority my to do. Does it? ship. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Never a good sign. Slayton is a clever man. Be on your guard. Goodbye. Oh. Leave before I make you. You have a question? You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Oh, we're just gonna go up there. It's Wait. gonna be very simple. This clearly isn't the executive. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm an elevator person now. Just control the building? For the moment. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. All right, well. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Oh, will it? In three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Shit, that's... Wow. I think they may have figured out where we are. Ew, gross. Ah! <laughs> 
kill any of these people. Most of them are just honest, hardworking people just doing their jobs, so... I can't have that on my conscience. Can't have that on my conscience. Well, I guess after you. Security, I'll I'll get into combat with security, but not 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 the innocent employee civilian people. They don't deserve this. like this it really makes neon the best place to do business you steal what's mine i trap you in the city you infiltrate my office i lock it down where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here <laughs> well, off your guards and release my you ship have what's mine i indirectly have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. We're business people, let's figure and it I'll out. I admit, having the co CEO of Stroud Eckland in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. He's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. Assuming there is no information we are lacking, that seems reasonable. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous <laughs> business. An opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Well, if it's just the cost of doing... Ooh, they f oh, they fucked him up, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Wants me to decide what to do with you. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Everyone steals, but you you got caught. Justice for some, huh? Fine. 
rather be caged than Better dead. for you to be in jail. Like it I can't. You will at have this point, I can't try to, to like get you to sentiment. skirt the law. You know. While you are in jail, I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Thank you. Let's talk more back at the ship. Couldn't agree I... more. Let's go to the ship. Fast travel. Cool. This is what I mean. Sometimes you can't fast travel. Look at this, even though I'm not in combat. I'm doing pretty well, Endurance. How are you? Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Yeah, guess what? You're fucking lucky that you're still alive, because guess what? Actually, no. Here? It's this way, so here we go. Thanks, you too. Neon was a pretty cool place. Pretty pog. Security's got its eyes on Saburo Akati. Can't believe they impounded my ship, chat. That's fucked up. talk to Walter and at least we got the artifact that we were looking for so I find the interior of this ship comforting can we speak for a moment how soon a deal with the man who wanted us dead I guess we could call that a win what do you think You and your wife are cute together. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. You are very fortunate. And I am glad that you see it. All in all... A great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. He's got him and his <laughs> wife are cute, yeah. Yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. <laughs> what a guy. Well, yeah, let's Hey, uh um, when you're not I busy, to sit chat. We're clear. I don't know. I think we might be upgrading our ship soon, chat. Is this? You say that now, but your 
your kind is not ready for the artifacts. The Starborn know what you are, what you are capable of. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. Oh, is that right? I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Some big decisions here. And jettison the artifact. Blast them into space dust. <laughs> or get the fuck out of here. This is a big decision. Something's telling me that we're going to face some big problems if we don't hand this artifact over. I do have other things that require my attention, you know. You really want to risk a straight fight with an enemy we know nothing about? We need to regroup. Bide our time. We can Get wait no longer. Out of here. Prepare yourselves for oblivion. This isn't good. Where's my last save? <laughs> where's where's my last save, chat? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they do melt the shield. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on. I don't think we should fight them, chat. Yeah, I'm not really a fighting vessel. We definitely don't have a fighting be back vessel. In our own ship. The only other option is to fucking invest in making this ship a fucking massive powerhouse. Captain, do you yeah, fortress. Inspector Sh. For heat leeches every couple. And they'll cause plenty of havoc. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. All right, let me take a look at my ships. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think we might need to look at some major upgrades here. Problem is we're kind of limited on what we can do because I don't have a lot of the like research into having a fucking insane ship. the most amount of power I can get on some of these 28 holy shit this one does 20 it's a class A Seems like this reactor is, is kind of the uh, the best that I can get right now. And if I don't go for that reactor, then we're talking 13,000 for the next class. What if I maybe tried to look at just getting some extra engines? Maybe that could be an option. Let's say you can put engine struts on here. engine on there but maybe maybe there would be a way for me to yeah I guess that's one way to do it is to put engines over here thrust you get 9200 and 2000 on that Eleven thousand and twenty one hundred. This is also cheaper too, but it doesn't 
doesn't fit here. So I think we're probably going to have to go this route. engine count, huh? Well. So those engines instead give me the maneuverability that I kind of want but the problem is like my reactor is still just I'm not in a good situation with the reactor and this ship is just really struggling in the combat department this is not a combat vessel and I think that's more or less the issue that I'm running into Thanks, Frostwolf. Burkan, how's it going? I have lasers and I have missiles. What about the cannon? I don't think I have a cannon right now. A ship. It's like an auto cannon. It's so strange. I don't really know how that's supposed to work, but... cruise on ship used for I don't know I uh I mean like you have like different features that your ship can have so
I think in order to like actually make use of the features that when you build your ship out, I think you have to have people like on the crew. I could be wrong about that, but. I'm tempted to just fucking sell this ship. It's a nice ship, don't get me wrong, but geez. Taking up all my credits just to try to build stuff, and the problem is like I'm building, but I don't have. I don't have everything that I want to have because I'm like constantly. Dealing with stuff. Um, I kind of want better shields. Let me see. What are my shield options here? This is the shield that was on it. 355. It says 705. I would almost prefer something that regens faster, but has like more... What's the current health? 355? You could do 420... That's 525, that's 545 with 7%? That's actually not too bad. Or 390, or 20 with 10%. Wow. Oh. Oops. I always forget you gotta like line it up with your reactor class. Alright, so we gotta go class A. Probably this one then. 41,000. Jesus Christ. So expensive. It's for like little upgrades too. We get a little more power. maybe try and get more cargo at the bottom too well you know what's funny is like I don't even really need these if we just have this on the back literally don't even need that stuff What kind of stuff can I attach there, though? Oops, didn't mean to do that. So you can you can put some engines there, but I don't have the skills for those, and I also don't have the right reactor for that either. So. Structural, though. Could maybe get... Oh, that's kind of gnarly.
Oops. I'd like to get more cargo space. Cargo usually mounts on the side of braces, though, so I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do that might be. Oops. Like you could totally put a bracer here. Five, three hundred. Three twenty. That's basically the idea, but you do have a mobility issue at a certain point. Gotta be some kind of a brace though that's like pretty cheap. Engine engine mount might be okay. What about a spine? No, I can't put Do like dual sided cargo if it wasn't for that sort of thing. Um, Probably okay. To an extent. And it basically just increases our cargo space, though. So I don't know. I don't know. Part of me is like, you know what? Don't even worry about the extra cargo space. Just, you know, get the systems to be nominal. But then at the same time, it's like, it's so expensive. I, I really need, I really need to get my piloting and stuff up so I can make this ship more practical. Yo, mad killer. What's up, buddy? Deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> hmm.
10,000 credits, huh? Kinda curious to see what happens if we just jettison the artifact. Taking what's mine. Don't waste this one chance to show us we're wrong about your Stand your ground, yes. But do keep in mind. Tell us, please. Answering your questions. Right, we already heard this dialogue. We are growing impatient. But you speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. Oh, is that right? A sentiment that is shared by my kind about you. We're not the ones making threats. Your moral grandstanding is hollow, as is your position. Make up your mind, or we will act. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the skin. If we spin up the grab drive. I'm gonna jettison the artifact. You're letting them strong arm us. Why? They might have more right to it than we do. Don't be a fool. <laughs> if the artifacts were theirs, why would some of them be embedded under layers of rock? The only thing we know for certain is that the artifacts are important. We can't just give that away. Walter is right. We do not fully understand all that is. Oh, they all here. dislike that you decision. Have shown a rare amount of wisdom. Do not continue hunting the artifacts. That path leads only to your destruction. Oh, shit. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of these star. There's something hey, I need uh, to uh, tell you. Oh, my God. All right, now I'm actually not going to commit to that path. We're totally going to take the artifact and run. We're totally gonna do that. That was always my plan, but I, I was just curious to see if they would, if you could, if it would actually let you jettison the artifact. We're not doing that. Fuck that. I feel like that is a focal point for a save, though. Holy shit. Hey, We're gonna fire up the grab drive, chief. We're encountering aliens, chat. That's peaceful from up here, doesn't it? You hold something you have no hold. Predictable. Stand your tell us, please. Answering your question. The more you understand. Could just know. Our distance. I'm not like if we spin up the Alright, let's spin it up. We'll get through this. Hold on. Alright, let's see. Um Oh shit, hold on. we're in combat darn i don't know if we're gonna i have something i now to talk to you i need if you are able
You know what? I actually think I might be able to fucking tackle this shit. Hold on. If I had repair kits, I could totally do it. I had him to 50%. Give me a quick second here. Hello. Might be able to buy parts from the kiosk. this ship need some work done nothing for us to do I'm sure you can find something you like how to do the repairs. I thought maybe you just need like resources for it. I don't know how to do it actually. Will we be taking off immediately? Things I wish to discuss with you. I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance. You seem just... to Hold on, let me just... Right. Let me just load the file again. kill this thing. Them into space dust. We really want to risk a straight fight. We can wait no longer. Prepare yourselves for oblivion. Mine. That didn't work. Is it this one? 
Yeah, I know, Kai. You don't got a back seat, okay? Like, you know I fucking hate. I'm just kidding. I mean, you shouldn't back seat, but. Yeah, no. I'm, uh, I, I, we'll get it. We'll get it. God damn it, whatever. I'm stupid. I just hit the wrong fucking button. I meant to hit F5. load this file i think that file was before i did the upgrades i could be wrong on that but if you are free soon could we talk There we go. F5. And I'm in this space, does Giga Chad? Have my attention. If you are free soon, can we talk? Hey, uh, you're not gonna see two minutes, Jack. Space dust, Giga Chad. seems to be having trouble, but I've never heard of this. Speculation part of my brain is an overdrive. We need to regroup at the launch immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. Agreed, we should not delay. They didn't drop any good shit. Darn. There was nothing like it looks like they jumped away. I need to talk with you later. Darn. I don't know what it what resources are spent in order to repair the ship. Kinda weird. 
I don't quite understand how it works. We have uh, engine damage, it looks like. Do you have... Can we speak for a moment? Hello. I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? You could say that. I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo, you have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I assume you feel like you don't? No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but distant. I worry that my background and my actions concern them. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I'm sure you did what you had to. Yes, exactly. I survived. That was the only goal. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. He I did the right thing. his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. <laughs> Trust me, you have a lot going for me. <laughs> have a lot going for you. What, do we try to do we try to get in our DMs chat? What do you think? <sighs> we're we're kind of pursuing Sarah right now, but you know, like Andrea is kind of like taken to me a bit more and she's really nice to me and she really I don't know maybe 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 we change all right we flirt okay that is kind of you you also have a lot going oh she <laughs> I am I, I find expressing affection difficult oh but, she um, but she truly, doesn't know what to say chat that's so cute I know this seems trivial uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? I completely get you. I don't think it's childish. Thank you. I understand. That is I was bullied when I was in school, so I hear you. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. Now you owe me one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it was important to her. Indeed so. it was. And now I hope you can see why. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. Yeah. No problem. You're you're pretty awesome, and you kick ass out on the battlefield. So let's do it. 
am glad to be back. It will be good to have a moment to relax. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? We were attacked. Need an emergency meeting. Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Ah, there's the whole crew. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. It was pretty gnarly. It's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Yeah, we got all the constellation in here design. right now, Chief. They call themselves the Star Corps. Demanding we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for Rome? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life. <laughs> fucking Barrett, dude. Food. Barrett is the one where the, the crazy idea is actually what's actually happening. Race. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Yeah, we really need to think about that. No settled systems lab made these things. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors, the gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Oh, I already did Until fight him. Then, I beat that ass. Stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. Yeah. No one will learn more is to keep going. Is be more cautious. But we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Word. Well, let's add our artifact to the collection. All right, what's up, buddy? Vladimir. Had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Yep, give me any data. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. True. True. All right. Well, we got some. We got some leads. What I like to see. That is what I like to see. I have 
have something for you. Great authority merchant, hostile activity. Well, yeah, we're not going that way. So. Not doing all that, chief. You have physical feature. Volcanic. Rocky desert. Mountains. Well, let's go ahead and scan it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, wow. Um, lots of different resources here. Quite a few. There's hills, mountains, rocky desert. Okay. That site is clear. Let's head down. Yeah, why, 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 why wouldn't I have? Extreme ambient heat. You don't say. Real quick here, let me go into uh, the skill menu here. We got, wait, I thought I had skill points available from the last. Didn't I level up? Maybe I didn't. Okay. Well. Never mind. Six out of eight resources already. Very nice. Plutonium and cobalt. Big uranium deposits in the mountains here.
These guys are strong. Ooh, a quantum essence. Fucking nuked that guy. I don't think that they're very happy about the work we've been doing. No loot. Uh, he gave me a quantum essence. Looking, it's got something to do with that. Every, uh, mining all this kalamite's kind of crazy. It takes so long to mine it. out all the time too that's like the other thing that's kind of annoying about it I wonder what happens if you just surrender that artifact. Then you're really curious as to what happens. I'm sure eventually we're gonna go to like the fucking home world or whatever of these people. Could I 
one is this one? says you cannot fast travel from this location wow so fun why does it do this to me chat why does it do this to me i'm not over encumbered either so it ain't that place over here. I got a treat. I have some issues at the moment. Oh, wait, maybe not. Let me take a look at some stuff real quick. Well, okay, we can look at it once we get here. Covered crater. Okay, is there is there nothing here? Wow, there's nothing here. It's so lame. So lame, dude. Whatever. Further into the unknown. Let's set a course. Counted. 
Whoa. Look at that. I believe we are on the moon of a planet, but yeah, that is actually crazy. Kind of cool looking. Right, I need to take a look at my status. I have burns pretty badly. There's a cave here, and then what, another cave here? Is that, is that what I'm seeing right now? Oh no, it looks like, looks like there's two entrances. Interesting. Those are turrets, that is so fun. Apparently, when freezing to death, one may experience a warm, cozy feeling. I would prefer not to verify that firsthand. Dude, look. Oh! Nice. Very nice. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't care about that plutonium. again. I'm sure there's going to be a fucking guy. So sick, dude. Seems like the, this is not the first time I have encountered beryllium in the same room as the artifacts. This stuff, which I have no idea what it is. Something tells me you're gonna wanna grab it. 
you know? Just be what's on the base here and then around the artifact. to encounter something like the Starborn. Now I feel that rather than having answers, we only have more questions. True. Yes, by any meaning of the word. Regardless of how impossible they may have seemed before now, I must say that I do not like being threatened by anyone. I do not understand how seeking answers can be so dangerous. Me too. Clearly, the Starborn are connected to the artifacts, which would mean that they are also connected to that temple you found. Did they make these things? Have they appropriated them? This all implies there is something more, something we do not yet understand. True, true. Are you worried? I am never worried. Cautious, perhaps. It has always been necessary to prepare for the unexpected. That's true. This is just a bit more unexpected than usual. Yeah. It seems to be how things go here in Constellation. That is true. We got to find you more. Are right. And it would seem that if we do, we may well cross paths with these Starborn again. We will need to be on our guard from now on. They seem to know much about us. Perhaps we can learn more about them to make it even. We true. should return to our search then. Very true. There's still so much to do. Yeah, let's go. Can I leave? Does it let me? Add the artifacts. Set course. Hey! It actually let me do it this time. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? Walter is a nice guy, what can I say? How far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, We're gonna are find you out. having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? 
What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Yeah. Agreed. We should not abandon our mission when things become difficult. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts, you told me there was going to be a break from finding artifacts here up. soon. Got Something's the down, bound to break from eventually. Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. What kind of repairs? Console parts, replacement wires that have burned out, some fixes to the intercom between the station and the lodge. Sure. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Oh, ooh, 750. Let's go. Well, let's just have a look then, huh? Need to figure out what our best bet is through here. See, I kind of want to get into... Honestly, research methods is probably a good one to get into. You know, it's all in the name of business, right? So... I want to want to lower my overhead, but at the same time, I also know that I'm going to need to spend eventually, so... I'd rather have more at my disposal than to just lower my cost. Probably get into weapon engineering. Sounds like Vladimir could use our help on the station. Indeed. Well, let's head back to the ship. Let's get it done, dude. The eyes open to you, constellation. I'm gonna take a break here in just a sec. on board. 
Greetings, Captain. Hey, you mind helping me walk up some of these panels? Ah, uh, miss coming up here. You should visit Vlad more often. Found in a GIF. Found. Let me just check a few more things. If you could help me install these parts. This yeah. scanning equipment needs to be installed. I could use your help. Help me install these parts. Ow! Do I need to sit at the table? I don't know. Oops. Oh, here we go. Box of parts. Spend some time installing that. I think we are done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We got we got the we got nice the, the squad together, Chief. My attention's glue is on the station monitors. Check with the others. Where's Sarah? What's she up to? Ooh! Whoa. That's cool. Why can't I get shit like this on my ship, dude? This is badass. Fucking sky bridge looking shit, man. That's so sick. That's my ship right there, by the way, chat, just in case you didn't know. Doesn't it look sick? Captain, greetings. so cool this is what starfield is all about right here chat looking down to the earth well this isn't earth per se this is Jamison, but looking down on the planet and then just like tilting your head slightly and seeing a big old f right there f's in the chat f's in the chat very nice Setting up some software. Want to test the computer over there? Help Vladimir code up this system. From the first time. Now. Nice. Lend a hand? Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. <laughs> Just disappearing. Where? Color the wrong wires. Station showing red. It wasn't me. Invoking the guilty creed. Station's old. Fixes won't be done in a day's end, though. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, 
need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Yeah, what's up? Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Rival. Captain mm. Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow. Runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. Guessing he won't hand it over easily. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Crowbar, huh? Left the life of a jackab once behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. I'm ready. Catch a smile out there. I'll try. I'll try, the hook. All right, chat. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back in five-ish minutes. Kirby.